What's going on guys? Today we have not uploaded anything to this channel in a while so we're gonna try to go do some fishing. I don't know how much time we got. My granddad gave me a, a bait caster of his that he doesn't use anymore. I've been practicing in the yard with it. I have not been able to go fishing for months. I got a new job. I work seven days a week. As much as I'd love to take one of them out at least, I do not have that kind of time. I'm not even sure of the time restraint I have now. So I will see you guys here in just a minute when we get to the lake. Now for anybody who's watched the channel before, you know this lake very well. It's typically the only place I actually end up coming to fish at all because it's like 20 25 minutes from the house it's a beautiful place it's, it's a shame the dam actually broke not too long ago maybe a couple years now but i mean just just look it's beautiful the water level is down a ridiculous amount and the wind's picking up pretty bad usually all of this up to the embankment here typically I would pretty much be in water right now and you can tell it's, it's not that much water but they do have the little dock you know little dock they put out here I was hoping they would have had it fixed by now usually I go all the way to the other side today I don't I really don't know I haven't been here in a while it's usually a lot of grass I know over here is more like the bedding area I call it a decent bass over here last year year before but i never have time to go fishing anymore so it's nice to be able to get out here and spend some time on the water i'm actually going to go right down through here i mean it's still a beautiful place don't get me wrong it's beautiful i just wish it would come the water level would come back up i wish they could fix the dam you can even see i don't know if i can zoom in far over there's the dam you can see where the water line usually is. So it's definitely a shame that it's still down the way it is, but we're gonna cast out here. I got a little crawfish colored crankbait on here on the new bait caster that I've never cast in the water. I've cast it in the yard. So let's get it out in the water and see what we can do. And I'll apologize right away for the GoPro audio because I grabbed the wrong case. I thought I had the other one in the truck. But you're not here to hear me talk, you're here to see me catch fish. First cast with this new reel. Still grassy in here. It's always grassy in here. It's so grassy in here, I had to stop bringing my boat during the summertime because the grass wouldn't let my trolling motor move. Oh, looky there. Got deer tracks. I do realize that I have 30 pound braid on here. It's just what my granddad had left on there. But I'm gonna try to just rig up a little fluke and see if I can even cast it out there any distance. I'll stop by Walmart and grab me some Zoom, some pearl whites. Not the greatest presentation, but I don't have a whole lot of options. I should have put a little weight on there or something. This is actually fairly shallower water too, so that's not gonna work, it floats. Try something else. All right, hear me out on this. I've got this. I believe it's a buzz bait. I've had this thing for years, I honestly couldn't tell you. My tackle terminology is not 
up to par like it should be. So I tied this on with no trailer. It's got a little bit more weight to it. So I should be able to get it out there a little bit. Should be able to keep it on top of the water with this reel. And with it being shallower water, and I know there's grass right, right below the surface of the water. Maybe, just maybe, I can drag something out of the grass. Still learning how to use this damn thing, I'm not sure. I feel like that thing's about to fall off, I've already knocked it off once. Brakes are all the way off. I think it's just the 30 pound breed. Making my cast not very lengthy. Walk over here to the side of the grass. Oh, giant Jesus, scared the hell out of a bird. We're going on an adventure. Oh, hey, there's water. All right. Wow, this is super shallow. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. All these deer trails, beds. Terrible cast. And I know it's choppy water right now and top water is not the way to go. And I may have to switch back to my other rod, but I really wanted to get this thing out here and actually get it wet. Let's head back over there. My feet are getting wet standing here. Man, I'm telling you, I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. But I mean, look, all this that I'm that I'm walking through, this is normally all water. You, if you can see the bank right underneath that little tree, that's usually the water level. So, kind of sucks, but the wind's picked up a good bit. So, top water is not going to be the deal. Clearly, but. Got to take another look at what I've got over here. I've got this ridiculous looking spinner bait tied on. I just threw on a some kind of soft plastic I had and been letting her eat. An old spinning reel. This is my typical rod before, like this is just what I've got, you know. Goodness. Big old fish just eating. I can't cast that that far, buddy. I didn't bring the boat. Jesus Christ, these fucking birds, man. Oh, my shoes are untied. Gotta get my sea legs back, goodness. Bummer. I know exactly what I'm called on too. I ain't getting that back. Ah, dang it. I'm sorry, buddy. I've had you forever. Yeah, it's a bummer. I let that sink too low. I, I forget around those little posts they have like, it's considered a feeder, I guess. I forgot they have like little fish habitats around it like little baskets so as soon as i realized it wasn't the fish on there i i knew i knew i done screwed up man that sucks all right we went back to the white fluke there's fish out here busting on bait fish 
Maybe this will entice him. Now I know it's probably not a super smart move, but nothing else is biting at the moment. So we're gonna go with the regular old Senko. Keep it simple. Since the sun is starting to settle, I bought a new chatterbait today. Well, 3 8 ounce. I don't even know how to rig this thing up. That's that's how familiar with these I am. Oh yeah. I like that. Let's see. I didn't put it on the bait caster because I wanted to make sure I could actually get it out there. Ain't no way I'd have done that on my bait caster. Oh yeah, I ain't good enough yet. Something else I just thought about that I should have thought about when I got here. It's been cold lately. The fish are going to be deep, not in shallow water. I am a genius. At least reach a little bit deeper water this way. grass or a fish I'm betting on grass to be honest with you Man. it's got to just be grass in there I hit it around the same spot not casting towards you again I already know what happens Maybe they're running up on the bank for one last evening meal. So as I am clearly a great fisherman, I can catch anything at any time, you know, obviously a lie. I'm going to go with a classic because I'm almost out of time. We're just going to tie on a hook, with a little bit of power bait, and just see what bites it. As soon as I cut it off, fish jumps. Did you wonder where that noise What are y'all doing? Hey, you're pretty. Look at you. Is it good? I just big old green power bait blob. That's all we got now. Let her sink. We'll come back here in a few minutes. And I know I didn't go all the way around the lake. I, you know, I stayed in this one little area, but honestly, I didn't even think I had this much time. I've only been here for about an hour, like right at an hour. I thought I was gonna have like 45 minutes max. So if I knew I could have been here longer than that, I would have been all around this place. Cause all the way back there, I usually catch fish. But I didn't feel like walking over there because normally I have the boat. But it is what it is. So now we're going to sit here and we're going to watch the pole and see what happens. Until I get a message saying I got to come pick the kid up. I figure while I'm waiting on that one to get a bite and I'm waiting on the message. I'll keep trying to fish something else. Right now I can't cast this thing worth a damn. I think I'm using too much line. Nope. Just suck. I kept seeing big fish blowing up out there, and I'm like, well, dang, what if, what if I were able to catch one? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've learned fairly quickly, quickly how to undo backlashes. If I had a trailer on this thing, it might be better. Oh, Jesus. Let's go with this. I just bought this too. I've never had a rattle trap before. And I know the silver ones tend to be the good ones that I've heard about. 
we'll see. I'll tie it on and see what happens. First cast with a rattle trap ever. So here goes. Oh, much better cast though. I think it just needed some weight. Oh, I can feel the action on this one. Oh, it's probably grass. I'm just going to chalk it up to grass. I was about to say, dude, this might be my new favorite lure ever. <laughs> yep, grass, I tell you. This place is nothing but grass. So you'd think I'd want to put something weedless on. Still dragging the top of that grass. I got splashed by the water. You can tell how cold it is. Oh, chalking it up to grass again. Is that old grass or new grass? It's hard to say in here. New grass. Oh wow. I think I just figured out how to do this. <laughs> I started reeling it faster and I could hear it above the water. So maybe I'm going too slow on this thing. First off, I believe my drag is way too loose, so if that was a fish, oh god, yeah. If that was a fish, it was gone. As soon as I pulled, I could see the lily pad move. Oh, damn it. I think it was grass again. I swear to god. <laughs> I'm getting better at the casting. Just gotta get better at the catching. Unfortunately, I got the message I've been waiting for. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing all day. All day, you know, the last hour and a half. We'll come back. We'll come back one day. One day soon, hopefully. With the boat. I have new techniques to try. I have new baits to try. And I have been constantly watching these giant fish out here just blow up. I can't cast out there i wish i could if i could it'd be great but that's like a hundred yard cast i can't do that but either way i know it's anticlimactic i know i didn't catch anything if you guys have any tips for me please let me know hopefully i'll be able to start putting more content on this channel so stay tuned whether it's hunting fishing anything like that anything to do with the outdoors maybe like maybe even work on the boat a little bit if you see this let me know what you want to see and i will try to get more content on this channel this is the stuff i like to do i just don't have a lot of time to do it and i promise my camera work will get better but until then i gotta go so we'll see you next time